All right, Annie, uh, for those who are new, she um, was born and raised in Iran. Uh, her dad was a high-ranking cleric. She was sold by her father uh, as a child bride at 14, and she escaped at 15. And maybe tell us a little bit about how you did that and, 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 and your experience with the United Nations immigration program, and you came in legally. Uh, the money that was spent, was the money being spent on refugees, uh, or was it just simply lining the pockets of the contractors? And what you learned through that whole process and how it relates to the immigration issue of today, Annie? Well, as far as how I made it out, um, I had a grandmother, luckily, who was aware of everything that was going on. Uh, she was uh, raised before the revolution time, so she knew there's a better life for women. So she managed to hire a smuggler to smuggle me out of the country from Iran to Turkey, uh, where I went to United Nations and applied for asylum, went through proper channels, as I said yesterday, and made my way to America legally. And as far as United Nations, that's actually an interesting um, point. A lot of people think that, for example, in Turkey, anybody goes six asylum to United Nations and become a refugee, they will get, you know, uh, money for their rent, food, you know, whatever they need. But the reality of it is you don't. If you are a legal immigrant seeking asylum through United Nations, you don't get anything. All you get is a full coverage of Medi-Cal. So if you need to see a doctor, if you have a, I, I needed a surgery there. Yes, it was covered by United Nations, but other than that, you're on your own. Um, and the sad part is, for example, in Turkey, when you're an immigrant uh, or an asylum seeker, a government of Turkey doesn't give you any rights. You can go to school, you cannot have a job. So pretty much you either have to pick on uh, jobs that are not legal for you to do, which could be a heavy punishment if you're cut by government, or you pretty much starve to death, um, or you find a way to survive. But United Nations won't give refugees a penny, nothing, not even uh, blankets. I remember there was a family who made it to Turkey in the middle of wintertime, and trust me, wintertime in Turkey is harsh. And all they were asking was a couple of blankets for their kids, and United Nations wouldn't provide that. We actually gathered a group of uh, immigrants ourselves. We gathered and we just donated what we could to the family to basically get them started. So no, none, not even a penny goes toward refugees from United Nations. So when we hear about the multi-billion dollar program for the United Nations in concert with the United States government and Barack Obama was... Where was that money going? If not to the refugees to help the immigrants, where was that money going? 